Hello everybody. Today we're going to make something really simple, which is great for children, adults, anybody who doesn't want anything too complex to make. Now this is going to be a puzzle feeder using things that everybody will have in the home. As you can see, it's just six toilet rolls. Now I use glue dots but it's up to you what you choose to use. I find glue dots easier, less messy, and much better to keep the desk clean. So all I need to start off with are my six toilet rolls. Now if you're like me, you get all your family and friends to collect them for you so that you always have plenty in stock. So we've got our six toilet rolls and I've also got my glue dots. Now I'll need 14 to make this project. Like I said before, it's up to you what you use, but I'm using glue dots. And I'll start off by tearing them all up into individuals. Again, I just find that easier than having them all in a strip. So I'll just tear them up if I can. And then we can start. As I said, it is a very, very easy project. And even if you don't have cats of your own, you could always make them and donate them to friends and family. Or if you've got an animal shelter nearby, I'm sure they would appreciate having these for their cats, giving them something to do. Now I have two cats of my own and they love their puzzle feeders. I can put treat biscuits in them or, as with my cats, they have dry biscuits for their main meal and putting them in a puzzle feeder just gives them something else to think about. It's a little more exciting than just having it in a bowl. So now we can start. So the first part I'm going to make is the bottom layer, which is three toilet rolls. So I'll start by sticking two of those together. I'll just use my glue dots, if I can get into it, there we go. So I'm going to put one glue dot there and another glue dot below it, just like that. I'll take the cover off get my second toilet roll, stick it together, trying to get them into alignment if you can, just press them together. With glue dots they stick really quickly, if you're using other glue it might take a little longer. There we go, stuck together and then I'm going to put two more glue dots onto the third toilet roll. Again, in a line. There we go, it's gone on the other side this time. There we are. Take the backing paper off. I've got my two glue dots and I'm going to stick that one to the two already stuck together. Bit of a squish, hold them till they're stuck. And there we go, we've got the bottom layer of our puzzle feeder, which was very simple. Put that to one side. The next layer, there's two toilet rolls. So again, stick two glue dots in a line. If you can get into them. Oops, stuck to me. There we go. There's one. And there's the second one. There we are. As I said, this is a really simple project, so you can do it with children or adults. It doesn't really matter. You can make one, you can make three, you can make as many as you like. Now the next part we're going to stick 
the two to the three. Now this is where it gets a little bit more complicated but not too bad because we want to stick those two there so obviously we need to make sure we're sticking them firmly. The weight of it will hold it to a degree but we do still need to stick it down. So if we put those to one side and with the three we want to put glue dots near the join as you can see but not too far into the join because we do want the double layer to stick to the three there we go and the same on the other side there we go there's one and there's the other one so as you can see there's two there two on the other side and if we take the covers off there we go got our glue dots there not very clearly seen on there but you can make it out with the light and we want our two toilet rolls that are stuck together and we're going to stick them to the three to make the start of our pyramid so you just place them on quick squeeze there we go and as you can see that's stuck together so we've now got part of our pyramid made put that down there you go you can see now again we need to stick our single toilet roll to the double so it sits on top so you could either stick the glue dots to the single toilet roll or stick the glue dots to the double I prefer to do it to the double just so that I know where I'm putting the glue dots so I'll put that to one side and I'll use my glue dots on the double again not too far into the join because you want to make sure it does stick to the toilet roll the top layer and our second one here we go third one and a fourth one now there we are just give the glue dots a little rub to warm them up so that they stick better there we are now as I said this is a very very simple project doesn't take very long but great for children great for adults anybody who has pets or likes pets or wants to help pet pets we stick the top one on squeeze it together just so that the glue sticks put it down and there you go you have your puzzle feeder now as I said earlier these are usually very simple things to have if you get family and friends to collect them for you you can make lots at a time or if like me you get six and then make a puzzle feeder these are great for cats as I said earlier you could put treat biscuits or their normal feed biscuits I wouldn't put wet food in because as you can see it's just cardboard it can make a mess these don't last forever it's not the idea of them you can keep it for a while throw it away and make another one as with any toy I would always always supervise your pet using it never leave it especially if you have say a dog in the household you don't want to eating too much cardboard so I would supervise as I said they don't last forever you can throw it away you can recycle it's cardboard if you've got children making these they might want to decorate them again it's up to yourself 
but be very careful what you use. You don't want to use anything that might harm your cat. So I wouldn't use anything glittery. I wouldn't use anything that smelt too strongly because then your cat might not want to use it at all. Also, if you have got children or lots of children, perhaps a class or a scout or cub or brownie group that are making these, if you do make a lot, speak to your local rescue centre. They may well want to use these for their, their cats. They would thank you for them. It gives the cats there something else to do, something to think about. It's very, very quick, very easy and not very expensive to make. If you want to use tape to secure them together, again, that's up to yourself. I just use the glue docks because I find them easier. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know. Bye for now.